three rounds of boxing, and our next fighter tonight is 24. He's from Paul's Head. In the daytime, he's a mastic man. And tonight, fighting out of the red corner, is Brian knows the high five. Zero to Hero competition is hotting up now. 7-4 after 11 fights. And you can see the taller man there in the red corner with a huge travelling support tonight. Ryan loves a high-five purchase. I suppose he gets a lot of them considering the support he's got. A Mastic man, 24 from Portishead against Andy the Cobra Collier, 28 years of age, and a bar manager from Westbury Park. So the red corner has the height advantage most definitely there as you can see can he utilize it as Collier really closed the gap to get into his man there purchase now looking to keep him at range at the end of those long arms and that left hand got through and you saw the head of Collier rocked back there took it well though he threw back leather himself but that's where purchase has got to keep him at the end of those long arms Collier, he's got to duck inside and work in close against the taller man. You can't afford to be at his range. You can't afford to be on the end of those long arms. You've got to get in quick, get inside and do your work. The problem is you can get caught on the way in. It's a, it's a, a long night's work when you have to do that, but that's what you're going to have to do to get the victory here, Collier. Get inside those long arms, do his work, then get back out and hope he doesn't get caught on the way in or on the way out. So Collier probing with that jab. Loose limbed purchase. Snaking out his own jab there. Then looking for the right hand on the end. Bursts forward and he's effective. Collier throws leather to try and keep him away. Comes forward. That's what he's got to do. Close the gap quickly. It was the right tactic. Get your work done and hope not to get caught. Both men utilizing the right tactics. Now, whoever does it best will win. That's the great thing about this fight. It's a perfect contrast to styles. The tall, rangy man, the shorter man who's got to get inside. Will it be fought on the outside or inside? Good body shots there from Purchase. Backing his man up, using those long limbs. The right hand landing again. Lands, oh, and the left spins his man around there. Catching the judge's eye, and it's that burst of action at the end from Ryan Purchase that, for me would seal an otherwise even round. Both men did what they were supposed to well, but at the end there, that burst of work from Collier caught my eye. Maybe it did the judges as well. So round two or three, and the tactics will be the same. Both corners will tell the men, purchase, keep it long, use those long limbs, get that big right going. Collier, get inside, work the man and get back out. And you can see there again, the right hand of purchase spins Collier around when it lands. Moving nicely, purchase. Looking to come in, probe with the left and throw the right. That's better from Collier, that's what he needs to do. Duck, under, come in, throw the punch. Otherwise, he'll be on the receiving end of those long limbs. And 
nice movement from Purchase, looking for the angles to throw his punches. And again, just perfect timing. Nice movement, you saw him moving, you saw him set it up. Punching at range, this is what I was on about. Eight count now for Collier, skips up nicely, ready to go again, very game. But good movement and perfect timing from Purchase. So away they go in the eight count for Purchase. He'll look to do exactly the same again. Set his man up, then drop him. And it's that move. Oh, big right hand. It came right through the channel. Maybe there's no getting up. Well, he is up. Real guts, because that right hand came perfectly through the middle, dropped him onto his bottom. What guts, though, from Collier. Showing the referee, my guard's up, I'm ready, I want to go again. Great guts, but you've got to admire the accuracy from Purchase. Referee Peter Markland certainly he wants to go on. Gutsy Collier there, but two great shots. The second one, an even better put down than the first. And it was that right hand through the channel. Now, can he stay calm and composed and finish the job purchase? Collier, all credit to him, got up both times from solid shots. Purchase staying calm, waiting for his moment. Knows he's got the finish in that right hand. And there it is again, and it comes through. And down he goes for the third time. And it's that right hand, and Peter Marklin's seen enough. And I think rightly so. Superb finish, took his time, was calm, controlled. Excellent accuracy from Ryan Purchase there. Knew exactly what he was doing, kept his goal. Cool. Superb finish. Which takes the red corner to 8-12, 8-4 in their favour after 12 fights. And you know what? That was a superb finish. Clinical, clinical work from Ryan Purchase against a very game Andy Collier. Took three times to keep him down.